Welcome back to JustMakeGames.com's Learning Center's CryEngine 3 course. We're now at part 3 of our importing a custom character with a custom rig using custom animations tutorial. And if you followed along, you should have your player with the skeleton and fully textured imported into CryEngine 3. And if you're running into any trouble at all, don't worry. We're including all the files for you to download at each step so you can continue to follow along. And I truly believe that anyone who follows this process by the end of it will say that was much easier than it looked. And you'll quickly be able to replicate this for all your different characters. Okay, now our next step is going to be to grab another file from the agents directory. And that's the skeleton underscore character params file. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it into my player's directory and I'm going to rename it just to keep everything sort of organized to be skeleton underscore player one dot caric params and then we're just going to edit this using notepad plus plus and 99 percent of this is actually going to stay intact because uh, Crytek's using the default 3ds max biped naming scheme which is why we renamed our biped bipo one in the first part to match that of 3ds Max 2010 and so the only files we're going to need to change are these last two files now this first line is referencing the anim events file which is basically tying events to animation so for example if you walk then you hear footsteps and the second file is pointing to another care params file same as this one but located outside this directory and it's an include so let's say you had 10 military units all with their own care params file but they're all using the same animations you can include um, uh, basically a parent care params file so we're gonna rename these and we're actually gonna point to files that we haven't even created yet but we're gonna create them here in a minute so it's going to be animation slash player one slash player one dot anim events and the I'm gonna name this one basic player one dot care params because let's say you had 10 zombies each with their own then you might have a basic zombie care params this is just generic name for the tutorial and then save this file so we're gonna worry about this basic player one care params file first and it's always nice to have 7-zip to browse the object uh, the packs directory so let's look in objects pack and within characters let's just copy or basically extract that file into our characters outside of our player directory we're gonna copy basic player dot care params and we're just gonna copy and paste it and rename it to what we named it here basic player 01 dot care params and then we'll start editing this and here you can see a big long list of animations and for this tutorial we're only gonna use two animations an idle and a walk animation so we're gonna delete all the lines leave the first two we're gonna delete all these lines and if you mess anything up don't worry we're including this file uh, as is edited per this tutorial and we're also going to be including it with the SVN repository of the community game which points to all the proper directories in the community game so let's just edit these two line to instead of referencing human mail to reference player one and our player one anim events file and I've got these next two lines here ready for me to copy and paste but we're just including the idle and walk animations which we're going to be creating now so make sure that you save this file and now we're quickly just going to modify the exporter and so head to game animations animations.cba we're going to edit this file this is the file that handles the exporting of your animations and we just want to modify these first few lines later you'll probably want to explore this file you can see they have things for the animals and different parameters but we just need to modify this to match our player one and our skeleton player one character file and our animation path is player one and our database path is player one player one dot dba and save this file now one last thing before we start creating our animations let's go ahead and create this folder that we just pointed to in our game animations folder named player one and using 7-zip I'm going to pull from the human mail the human mail anim events and rename it and if you remember earlier we already pointed to this file in the skeleton params file and we're actually not going to be using this file at all but it's just here for when you need it tying animations uh, and events 
things like sounds with footsteps. You see a lot of things like the reload sounds for different weapons, but that is not in the scope of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and load our scene file, which should be in your CryEngine directory. But if you don't have these uh, Crymax tools, you're going to need to go to the CryEngine tools, Crymax tools directory and copy this load Crymax tools into your program files or wherever you have Autodesk 3ds Max 2012 scripts startup directory copy load Crymax tools into this directory and when you start 3ds Max you'll have these Crymax tools available so we're going to use these tools to load a locomotion locator which I don't believe any of our animations require this but a lot of animations do and you can read more about it at freesdk.crydev.net but for now just go to Crymax tools animation uh, line pivot locator head to the locator tab create a locator and you should see this red arrow and then you just want to auto align that and that's ready to go we can start animating but first I'm going to uh, save as and I'm going to rename this to player one underscore static you can call it backup or whatever you want but it's just basically a nice clean file ready to animate in case you mess anything up you can just revert to this file and you're ready to animate again so I'm going to open the original file so we're not messing with our static file first I'm going to hit F3 and select the biped and make sure that in the motion tab in the biped rollout that figure mode is turned off and I'm going to turn auto key on Auto key is going to create a keyframe anytime we move anything. And so I just want to start moving the bones. And once you have something that you're happy with, which isn't going to be very happy for this tutorial, but it's going to be quick and get the point across, then you can copy the posture. Uh, just select the bones and select copy posture and then paste posture opposite right here to the opposite end. I'm also going to just slightly move the chest a little bit because we're going to try and signify the fact that he's breathing. So now let's move to the tenth keyframe and you can see if we move some another keyframe is created for us and you know that's going to be simple enough for the tutorial just the chest okay if you hold shift on the zero keyframe and drag it I'm gonna move it to the 50th keyframe that basically copies it so when we have a loop the first and the last is the same you can see how that works and then I'm gonna copy the 10th keyframe to the 35th move this to the 15th so we have a nice evenly spaced number and then I'm going to set the time configuration to be 50 keyframes and if you hit OK and do a biped playback, you can watch your animation and you see we have a nice semi-smooth breathing animation we're going to export. I'll go into your Utilities tab, select Cranjin 3 Exporter, and Export Bones under CAF Export. Make sure you're in the Animations Player 1, then you can create a folder called it Idle and save it as idle01.caf. Make sure it matches what you set in your Care Params file or earlier and then when you load the CryEngine character editor and if you load your CDF file you should see a list of animations walk is still undiscovered because we haven't created it but your player should be animated properly and congratulations on your import final step to get your character in game would be to go to view open view pane animation graph and create a new animation graph and rather than walk you through this I'm going to post a link to the write-up that freesdk.creative.net has provided really simple write-up it's gonna be a lot faster for you to just follow these steps and then finally edit the player Lua script which is located in the scripts.pack scripts entities actor directory create a similar directory outside the pack file so that you can edit the file and then you just need to replace these two lines which I will post a uh, I'll post these lines so that you can search for them and replace those files and then use your own uh, graph in the first animation graph we're not if you followed our previous C++ third person tutorial or if you just insert some console variables you should see that your character and animations have loaded properly 
if you finish up those animation graphs then your character should sync between walk, run, crouch, whatever animations you have and make sure to check out JustMakeGames.com and sync up with the community games SVN repository so you can stay up to date with the latest code and files